Hi friends, this is Andy from Techstore and in this video we are going to be reviewing the Lenovo G400S touchscreen uh, laptops that Lenovo has launched. The model that we are reviewing today is a 59383645 here in India and it sports a full processor that is a Core i5-3230 with uh, clock speeds of 2.6 GHz and turbo boost up to 3.2 GHz. It has a 4 GB memory, 500 GB hard drive and a 2 GB NVIDIA GT 720M graphics card. The camera resolution is 720p and uh, it's got real awesome speakers that we're going to be showing up now. So let me start first with the things that come along in the box. I've opened the box uh, for you. Let's start with the battery here. As you can see it is a 4 cell lithium ion battery. It will give you a very poor backup, not in excess of 2-2.5 two, two hours because it has got a full uh, processor, it does not have an ultra low voltage processor. The power ratings as they read here are 14.88 volts and 41 watt hours, that is 2800 mAh. So battery is a serious downer. The adapter is a standard looking uh, Lenovo adapter and it has got a power rating of uh, 20 volts and 3.25 amperes. Says. It's got the USB type connector. Alright. It comes along with a setup guide. As you can see. There are no CDs whatsoever because this has got a genuine Windows 8 version on board. This is a power cable that comes along with it. And you get a list of items that are there in it. Alright, so this is the way the laptop looks on the top panel. As you can see, there's a 14 inches laptop. Uh, so it is smaller in size when compared to G500. It's got the same uh, textured finish as in all uh, G500 and 400S touchscreen laptops. The logo is uh, metallic embossed. Very rugged uh, finish on the top panel as you can see. This is the maximum that will tilt. It's around uh, not more than 100 degrees. So tilt angle is something that it's not good on this laptop. Now we tried opening the uh, laptop with one hand. It does not, as you can see, it does not open. This is the way laptop looks when it's opened up. Very delightful, as you can see. Let me show the keyboard and the palm rest area first thing first. As you can see with this entirely metallic finish. It's not metal though, it's absolutely plastic or fiber. The power button and uh, the one key recovery. The keyboard is a chiclet uh, keyboard. It's not a full size keyboard. It does not have a numpad. It's got Dolby Advanced uh, certification the hinges are pretty here only time will say how the hinges will in this model the model that we are reviewing today is a core i5 third gen laptop uh, as i have said earlier it's got a gt 720m graphics card nvidia graphics card it's got a very small touchpad which is contrary of the large palm rest area that we have here could have been much bigger, they could have utilized this space as well as this space and it's also a dual click pad, it's not a uni pad as such. The surface here is having a matte finish. You have the mic over here. The screen is a glare HD LED as you can see it, it shows a lot of reflection so that is something that would have worked but uh, this is the way it is. Because of the touch screen, uh, the laptop is a little heavy, it's around 2.5 kgs. Let me first show you the camera quality here, as you can see the camera is uh, on now and it's a beautiful camera here, it's having absolutely no lag whatsoever, no VV effects. So for camera I will give you 4 out of 5 actually for this laptop. Let me now showcase the audio quality here. Speakers are over here, over here. Very crisp audio as you can see. Not at all flat. It's got that thump in it without the subwoofer actually. Now 
let me show you the pinch and zoom function here of the touch screen as you can see very nice absolutely neat touch here Now let me showcase the touch functionality here. Very smooth touch. The 4 out of 5 for the touch screen that uh, Lenovo has integrated with it. The screen is very vivid as you can see the resolution is 1366 into 768 that's the maximum resolution it will support nothing beyond that now this is the way the left side looks like it's not very slim and it's not at all as fat as or as thick as the G500 so it's between the two but uh, reasonably sufficient so this is the charging port connector, this is the dissipation vent area. Good amount of dissipation uh, can happen in this space because uh, they have good amount of space given there. VGA, you have uh, Ethernet, you have HDMI, two USB 3.0 ports here. So that's a good thing having a VGA here because most of these uh, slim laptops don't have VGA nowadays. You have two indicators over here, one is a power indicator, one is a uh, battery indicator yeah and absolutely nothing else in the front on the right side you have a headphone mic combi you have a memory card reader you have a usb 2.0 port and you have a dvd drive so and you have a kensington lock too so the design looks uh, very elegant very sturdy let me show you the base too as you can see this entire panel once opened uh, we've already shown you how to open uh, the panel of the G500S and G500 so you can apply the same mechanism once opened we'll have the hard drive, RAM, Wi-Fi chip, everything encased here so it's very simple for you to upgrade your uh, Lenovo G400S touch you have got these real tall rudders here as you can see which will give you differential in uh, the posture of your laptop good amount of uh, heat dissipation area here too so Lenovo has done a real good job in uh, designing the G400S touch and uh, this is it so this is my friends was a review of the Lenovo G400S touch it just looks like the G500S touch too uh, the only difference being uh, it is 14 inches and G500S is the 15.6 inches variant so you can buy this laptop at under 50,000 rupees here in India on our website www.techstore.co.in do not forget to subscribe to us guys and uh, thank you so much for watching the video.